for today. The uh, guest is uh, Reverend James Thomas uh, from the uh, Jefferson Street Baptist Church. Uh, Reverend Thomas, let's uh, uh, devote this uh, last uh, segment primarily to uh, what you've already indicated, uh, what you call black leadership. Let's talk about black leadership from well, your perspective. Well, there are two things that I think, when you look at the black leadership of my day, you know, the 60s, uh, you knew that you were with black leaders mm -hmm. because it costs to be a black mm -hmm. leader then. Okay. It doesn't cost it any mu that much Mm -hmm. to be a black leader now. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is just sign your name with a group and uh, start marching and they'll call you a black leader. leader. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. The but newspapers and everybody yeah, designate yeah, yeah. you as uh, the leader yeah. of the African-American community. Yeah. If you, uh -huh. But that's the strange thing about black America is that we don't let anybody pick our leaders. Mm -hmm. And we have to understand that a black leader is a leader when the people say so. Mm -hmm. Not when mm -hmm. the media not when city government, mm -hmm. it's when black folks say mm -hmm. you're the leader. Mm -hmm. So if you think you're a leader and nobody is following you, mm -hmm. you're just taking a walk. Mm -hmm. You're right, not, you're not a, a leader. leader. You're just mm -hmm. taking a walk. Mm -hmm. So that is one. The next thing about black leadership is that maybe we don't get a kind of media mm -hmm contact okay. that's needed. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, when when we were marching, it was not until those dogs started biting those okay. children mm -hmm. in Birmingham mm -hmm. did that black and white me mm -hmm. media mm -hmm. captured black events. Mm -hmm. When we saw a black on television in the 60s, uh, we, saw, we, we, we all paid attention. Okay. Now it's no big, big thing okay. to see it. So, mm -hmm. so maybe that's another thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe we have some leaders, mm -hmm. but uh, we have to watch how people can kill our leaders mm -hmm. with their words. Not how they should do, mm -hmm. shoot, but what they say. For instance, uh, the president of the United States. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't, it doesn't matter what he says. Mm -hmm. There's somebody that's attacking uh, the president, mm -hmm. you know. That's right. It, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. If he says it, it's going to rain tomorrow. Mm -hmm. it, Somebody going to jump no, up and I say, well, make. yeah, mm -hmm. uh, he's crazy. If he goes swimming, mm -hmm. the first thing they say, he can't walk on water. Mm -hmm. You know, there's always, <laughs> okay. there's always something mm -hmm. that they're going to do. So you got to know that. Mm -hmm. uh, the next thing is that you got to be proud of who you are. Okay. You know, don't let anybody tell you who you're not mm -hmm. or who you are. Mm -hmm. You just do it yourself. Mm -hmm. So when I think about leadership mm -hmm. in, the, in our community. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Reverend Thomas, uh, one of the uh, big events that has uh, happened here in Nashville quite recently is the proposed uh, convention center that's coming down here. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the problems that we've had is, has been an economic problem in terms of finding enough jobs for our folks. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, our uh, why don't you say something about what you think ought to happen in terms of getting to making us a part of uh, this uh, great construction that's going to go on here and, 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 and how we might be able to uh, become a part of that. Well, the mayor already have a minority group. I think they give it 20, 35 percent mm -hmm. of minorities. We need that kind of work. Mm -hmm. We also need, when this, the president just signed that jobs bill, Okay. want to know where that money going. It's waterworks. I was checking to see if it waterworks. There's a lot of young men mm -hmm. that I've been able to get some jobs at the waterworks mm -hmm. uh, who have uh, felonies. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. See, yeah. I, they, I, uh, they've been good to getting young men who come out of prison mm -hmm. who are felons and hide. Mm -hmm. So those kind of jobs we're looking for. And we got to continue to fight mm -hmm. for the felons to get work. Mm -hmm. You know, why send me to the pen and then get me out and then I ain't got nowhere to work? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm going to steal. So th there's a lot of young men trying to find some work there. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I would pray that the church okay. would challenge state local and national government mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about work mm -hmm. for blacks, his, the Latinian, mm -hmm. Hispanics, mm -hmm. fight for people who are powerless. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what we got. You got to fight for folk who are powerless. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, those powerful folk gonna make it anyway, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I'm just looking at the school system. Right now, they're fixing to let bus drivers mm -hmm. and janitors go. Mm -hmm. These folk are not making any money anyway. Mm -hmm. We gotta cut the budget mm -hmm. on poor folk. Oh, uh -huh. Not on folk who got money, go on. but uh -huh. folk who can't make it. Mm -hmm. So we got to fight for that. <laughs> yeah, well, I, and, and, and that's exactly true. You, you, you know, as, as a matter of fact, one of the real issues that we uh, met on, on this show uh, earlier mm -hmm. had to do with uh, ex-offenders in the state of Tennessee and second chance programs. And, yeah. and they're not enough. Uh, programs and, and uh, uh, attempts to try to reach out, and, uh, and you've already indicated, mm -hmm. and I was glad to hear you say something about it, that uh, these individuals, once they have a, a, a mark on their record, that for all practical purposes, they are still in jail yeah. in terms of the opportunities and uh, uh, everything else that might be afforded them. Uh, they, can't, they can't get jobs, they don't mm -hmm. have housing, they don't have anything, and so essentially they, they are almost... Uh, Reincarcerated, yes. whether they, but even though they're not behind bars again, and, and I'm very, very sympathetic toward uh, yeah. individuals. Well, see, I started going to jail when I was 13. Mm -hmm. You know, I, so jail is nothing for me. Mm -hmm. I missed the penitentiary that close. Mm -hmm. Huntsville Penitentiary in Texas, mm -hmm. I missed it. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's only through the providence of God mm -hmm. that I, I didn't get sent up to mm -hmm. sent up there. Mm -hmm. So when you see me fighting issues for of guys in prison mm -hmm. just because folk go to jail doesn't mean Th they're not that's good, good. Uh -huh. they're mm -hmm. good folk mm -hmm. yeah. yeah that's well that, and i think as a matter of fact one of the uh issues here i think in, in nashville has uh been an issue dealing with uh, uh, uh bill allen i think you you have been been involved in, in that working issue. What, with bill well, allen. Well, 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 what's over the last couple of minutes talk about that what's that situation well we've been trying to get bill allen bill allen has a marvelous record in prison uh, he made furniture, he, he's encouraging folk in prison, guys who are uh, locked up, Bill had given them grounds to hold the head up, get the GED, uh, he got one of the best records. And so we've been trying to get uh, somebody to mm -hmm. listen to Bill mm -hmm. and hoping that the governor mm -hmm. would... Uh, let him serve his time, just write, write it off. Mm -hmm. Because Bill is no danger. He, when he broke out of prison, went to Houston, was in Houston for 10 years, mm -hmm. never committed a crime, mm -hmm. a law-abiding citizen. Mm -hmm. And he went back to prison, did his time. Mm -hmm. Bill is a, mm -hmm. is a good moral leader mm -hmm. in prison. Mm -hmm. And he would be a great worker outside. Mm -hmm. You know, I've heard a large number of folks testify in oh, terms oh of man. Uh, what uh, uh, Bill Allen has been able the to do. The warden it. everywhere. Uh -huh. uh, we were in the prison a few, a year ago. Mm -hmm. I guess there were about 80 to 90 folk mm -hmm. at the prison until they, would, they couldn't bring us in the room. They had, us, had everything in the mm -hmm. outside mm -hmm. to talk about Bill. Uh, Bill Allen is a, a prince of a man. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I've certainly wished we can do some things. And maybe if the community get behind it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and this this was something that happened over uh, 60, uh, back in the 1960s. Uh. That's when it cost to be black. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I mean, it, I was here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I know what it meant when a black man got in trouble in Nashville or in the South. Mm -hmm. It was hard to walk these streets. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and uh, I, I was on White Creek's Pike hiding. I was on Jefferson Street hiding mm -hmm. because it was rough. It was rough. It was just, uh -huh. it was just it a terrible time. It comes to be black. Okay, it was yeah. a terrible time yeah. for everybody during that time. And for and, black. And, and, and especially for black folks during that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and so Police uh, must see you, Doc. You uh -huh. will just don't whoop you for nothing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I reminded you, uh, uh, Reverend Thomas, over the last uh, 40 seconds that we have here, that I got the same gray hair that you have. Yeah, so and you I was, know. I, I was out there, yeah, I yeah. remember that too. And yeah. those were some terrible days. And Bill, I know, was caught up in yeah. all of that. And Fear. He's still, he's, yeah, he's still, he's still serving as, as yeah. a result of that. And, yeah. and justice would demand. And I've always said that uh, uh, if, if, if they were to let him go, they would free a lot of us. They would free me because yes, I've sir. been involved, as you, for the last 35, 40 years, mm -hmm. uh, trying to uh, get him out over the last few years. Yes. That, that uh, any of us have, 
and certainly it would be a great uh, compliment uh, in terms of the thing that he's done uh, if uh, somehow he was able to uh, be able to get back to the now. Of course, we'll be back with our audience uh, next week for another form informative edition of Comics. Thank you and good morning.